Hillary Clinton in Beijing on Friday. Now ahead of that, an investigation is underway into the collision earlier this month of nuclear armed submarines from Britain and France in the Atlantic Ocean. The incident has touched off new concerns about the safety of the world's deep sea missile fleets. Mike Patterson takes a look at that. The HMS Vanguard, the oldest vessel in Britain's nuclear armed submarine fleet, and the French Le Triomphant both suffered minor damage. Britain's most senior sailor, First Sea Lord Admiral Jonathan Band, says the crash posed no risk to the safety of the submarine's nuclear reactors and missiles, and no crew members have been reported injured. The submarines, one French and one United Kingdom, were conducting routine national patrols in the Atlantic Ocean. A few days ago, the submarines came into contact at very slow speed. Both submarines remained safe and no injuries occurred. We can confirm the capability remained unaffected and there was no compromise to nuclear safety. The HMS Vanguard was towed back to a base in Scotland with visible dents and scrapes. Le Triomphant suffered damage to a sonar dome but returned under its own power to its base on Le Long on France's western tip. French Defense Minister Hervé Morin denies the submarines had been shadowing each other. He says it was a freak accident, claiming the vessels make less noise than a shrimp. A UK retired Navy officer and submarine expert says there are a number of technical issues to be investigated and the root of the problem appears to be procedural. It's estimated repairs will cost around 70 million US dollars. France and Britain may consider coordinating underwater patrols to avoid future collisions. Mike Patterson, CCTV.